afternoon, good afternoon. you share the broadcast share the broadcast so that we we can have a lot of students share the broadcast share the broadcast before we start sorry sorry for coming late uh, we had a problem with network that was just too big otherwise we are here Share the broadcast, share the broadcast, share the broadcast as we, as, as we advertised for today we are going to have a visit with legal host Mr. Imano Simengwa. Ten questions for today, but I have a number of questions where you can choose from. You can choose a, a number of questions. I read it through, then you have chance to answer them. And uh, within ten minutes, uh, I mean within fifteen minutes, we are going to to choose five winners who are going to post their correct answers within. 15 minutes after all the questions have been read and posted on this same page. So share the broadcast so that a lot of people can have a can have chance to learn with us. For today I'm not teaching. Today it is quiz, physics quiz. And make sure you like the page. If you are new to this page, like the page, share, co co comment, and keep your eye on this page. You are one in a million. So that every time we have a live quiz, a live lesson like this, you don't miss out. You are free to, to participate. Make sure you inform that grade 10 you know, grade 11, 12, and those who are writing GCE. This is the opportunity you have, you know. We have this pandemic um, where we don't know when this issue of COVID will end. We just have to live with it. We have to mask up, remember to mask up, take all the health guidelines seriously coronavirus is real and as teachers we continue doing our best we continue giving you the best so that we can try to work hand in hand with the, the ministry to make sure that learning is taking place and this is just one of the ways I thought instead of my pupils just being home doing nothing but uh, I bring in this uh, program. So for today, I'm not teaching. For today, I'm not teaching. For today, it is just a live quiz where I'm, I'm, I'm going to read out questions. We are going to pick 10 questions from, from the questions I have here. You can choose questions from one to, from one to 25. You can choose, but we only, we only tackle 10 questions. So feel free to participate. Feel free to take part. This is the only time you can revise. This is the only time you can learn those things you don't know. So make sure you share the broadcast.
wow, 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 wow. Feel free to participate. Feel free to participate. Yeah. Right. Question number one reads. Question number one reads. This question comes from question number one reads under uh, electricity. And the question reads An electric uh, appliance is rated 5,000 watts, comma, 250 volts. Stop. A man uses this appliance for 10 hours and pays. 25 kwacha for the electrical energy used. Full stop. What is the cost of electrical energy a unit? I'll read the question again. An electrical appliance is rated 5,000 watts, comma, 250 volts. Full stop. A man uses this appliance for 10 hours and pays 25 kwacha for the electrical energy used. Full stop. What is the cost of electrical energy per unit? What is the cost of electrical energy per unit? That's our first question. Take your time. Remember whatever your teachers the so take your time, take your time, take your time, take your time, take your time. You have a minute to work out this question, a very simple question. Ready times, this is the time you can learn new things. Grade 11s, I know even grade 12s. There are some who have got difficulties, and this is the only time you can revise. So try to revise, try to revise, and since you have 15 minutes, you can ask your elder brothers, sisters, to help you with these questions. Question number two reads, question number two reads, the radio asked, the radioisotope sodium 24, as a half life of 15 hours. Full stop. How long would an 8 gram sample of sodium 24 take to decay to 1 gram? I'll read the question again. The radioisotope sodium 24 has a half life of 15 hours. Full stop. How long would an 8 gram sample of sodium 24 take to decay to 1 gram? That is question number 2. So, take time. This question is under atomic physics, radioactivity. I'll read the question again for you. The radioisotope sodium 24 has a half life of 15 hours. Full stop. How long would an 8 gram sample of sodium 24 take to decay to 1 gram? That is our second question. That is our second question. Let's go to the third question. Third question. An experiment to determine the period of a pain drum, comma, the time to complete 20 swings is found to be 30 seconds. Full stop. What is the period of the pain drum? In an experiment to determine the period of a pain drum, comma, the time the time to complete 20 swings is found to be 30 seconds. What is the period of the pendulum? That is question number three. If you are following me closely, 
That is question number three. Question number four. Question number four. A simple pendulum that oscillates continuously between position A and C. A simple pendulum oscillates continuously between between position A and C takes 7.0 seconds to complete 3.5 oscillations. Full stop. Calculate the frequency of the pendulum. Great turn work, great turn work. A simple pendulum oscillates continuously between position A and C. Takes 7.0 seconds to complete 3.5 five oscillations. Calculate the frequency of the pendulum. Let's go to the next question. We go to our next question. Make sure you take note of the question. You can write the questions down. Take your 15 minutes to answer them and comment your answers on this same page. The five, the five first people to comment will be chosen or will be picked randomly. Those who are going to, to comment with correct answers and tomorrow will announce the winner, the first five. Next question. A girl whose mass is 50 kg climbs a ladder of height 8 meters in 10 seconds. What is the power developed by the girl? A girl whose mass is 50 kg climbs a ladder of height 8 meters in 10 seconds. What is the power developed by the girl? I'll read the question again. A girl whose mass is 50 kg climbs a ladder of height 8 meters in 10 seconds. What is the power developed by the girl? Take your time. Those are simple questions. Those are simple questions. Those are simple questions. Take your time, take your time, take your time. Take your time. Physics is very simple, very simple. Let me say science. Natural science is very simple. This is a subject that you can get a distinction without any difficulties. This subject is very simple, very simple simple. Trust me, trust me, you can get a distinction in science without any problem. Trust me, trust me. All right, next question. This question reads, uh, a machine with a velocity ratio of, of six requires 800 joules of work to raise a load of 60 kg through a vertical distance of one meter. Let me read the question again. A machine with a velocity ratio of six requires 800 joules of work to raise a load of 60 kg through a vertical distance of one meter. Find the efficiency of the machine. So in this question, you've been asked to find the efficiency of the machine. And this machine has got a velocity ratio of 6. And it requires 800 joules of work to raise a load of 60 kg through a vertical distance of 1 meter. So just understand the question. Just understand the question. Take time to understand the question. The question is very simple. Where you've been asked to calculate the efficiency of the machine. 
and this machine has got a velocity ratio of 6 and it requires 800 joules of work to raise a load of 60 kg through a vertical distance of 1 meter. Very simple, very simple. Just take your time, take your time, take your time, take your time. You can, you can choose questions, you can choose questions. I've, I said I've got, I prepared 25 questions and I said only, I want to ask, want to pick 10 questions from 25. So you can choose, you can choose questions. You can choose questions. Whatever. You are free to choose your own question, the question that you want me to read. All right, question 18. All right, fine. Okay, 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 okay. As I said, science is very simple, and physics in particular. All right. Ah, the question reads, what is the cost of running a 100 watts lamp for 30 minutes if electrical energy costs 10 kwacha per unit? What is the cost of running a 100 watts lamp for 30 minutes if electrical energy cost 10 kwacha per unit? So in this question, you've been asked to calculate the cost or how much it will cost running a 100 watts lamp for 30 minutes. If the electrical energy cost 10 kwacha per unit. 10 kwacha per unit. Very simple. Just take your time. Just take your time and I know you get this right because the questions are very simple. Very, very, very simple. Another interesting question but very simple, another interesting question, and very simple. The question reads, an object of mass 75 kg on Earth is taken to the moon where the gravitational field strength is 1.6 Newton per kg. An object of mass 75 kg on Earth is taken to the moon where the gravitational field strength is 1.6 Newton per kg. Calculate the weight of the object on the moon. Very simple, very simple. I don't know why people complain that science is difficult, physics is difficult, chemistry is difficult. Science is very simple and I can guarantee you a distinction in science. You just have to, you just have to, uh, you just have to be focused, study, know the formulas, know how to balance the equations. And it is not difficult, it is very, very easy. I can guarantee you a distinction. Once you just say, I want to get a distinction in science, it is very easy, very easy. I can guarantee you that. So let's go to the next question. Let's go to the next question. Don't worry, these questions will be posted. These questions will be posted on this same page so that a lot of people can participate. And 
the five people would be picked randomly 15 minutes after posting the questions not after ending the live quiz no after 15 minutes after posting the questions on this same page all right i think this is question nine if i'm not mistaken we are learning with only one question so you can continue sh sharing the broadcast you can continue sharing the broadcast um the question reads Waves struggle at a speed of 30 meters per second through a medium. Waves struggle at a speed of 30 meters per second through a medium. If 10 waves pass through a point a second, if 10 waves pass through a point per second, Calculate the frequency of the wave. Calculate, that is question A. This question has got two questions. Take note. So question A, calculate the frequency of the wave. B, B of A2, that was A1, then A2, calculate the wavelength of the wave. So the first question, you've been asked to find the frequency of the wave. Then in the second question, you've been asked to find the wavelength of the wave. Let me read the question again. Waves travel at a speed of 30 meters per second through a medium. If 10 waves pass through a point per second, if 10 waves pass through a point per second, calculate, the, calculate A1, the frequency of the wave, A2, wavelength of the wave. Let's have the last question. Let's have the last question. Last question. Last question. Last question. Hey, last question. Last question. Last question. And the question reads A loud sound is made in front of a tall building. A loud sound is made in front of of a tall building, full stop. An echo is heard four seconds after the sound is produced. An echo is heard four seconds after a sound, after the sound is produced. If the speed of sound in air is 320 meters per second, how far away is the building? If the speed of sound in air is 320 meters per second, how far away is the building? That is our last question, question number 10. Thank you for coming through. This is 
this was physics quiz. I was not teaching. The advert was that today we are going to have a physics quiz. And next time, make sure you like the page so that you can you like the page and keep an eye on this page so that you can be getting all the notification all the adverts all the live videos um because next time maybe i'll be teaching or it will be another quiz i don't know so just keep in touch thank you very much for coming through Make sure you take your time, go through the question, revise these questions will help you. If you are, if you are a grade 10, grade 11, 12, and those who are writing GCE, this is the time that